All right, Michelle Bodkin with Ute Zone here with Utah defensive lineman Filippo Mocafisi. Now, your name's pretty familiar to Ute fans <laughs> already. Yeah. Uh, is there any kind of pressure having to deal with being your your dad's son? Uh, you know, yeah. Growing up, I've had that uh, that pressure all my life. Uh, being shadowed by my dad, uh, has sharing the exact same name with him, Filippo. I know I have a lot to uh, a lot to live up to, but he's he's reassured me every time. I don't need I don't have anything to live up to. I can do my own thing, you know. Whatever I do in my life, he'll, he'll support me. So that kind of keeps it, you know, off my shoulders. I feel better, so I can just go do my own thing. You certainly got off to a good start last year during your freshman season. What are you looking to do in your sophomore year? Uh, just put a statement on it, you know, put a stamp on it that. Uh, uh, I can I can double what I did my freshman year. You know, I'm trying to be more of a playmaker this year. Uh, but those are those are probably the biggest goals right there. Your dad was also known for being a huge playmaker. What do you think you maybe do similar to him, and what do you think you do differently? Well, differently, I have a uh, different. He he says that I play different. Uh, he says that I have more athletic ability than him. So that's that's what he tells me. I don't know for sure, but. <laughs> Yeah, uh, a lot of people say we have the same mannerisms and all that, but uh, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> What's it been like working with John Peace as oh. far as getting the defense together? Oh, that guy's uh, oh my goodness, he's a firework. Even my dad said that he coached my dad in New Orleans, and he said in his younger days he was a firework, and he still is. Seventy-two years old, he's not stopped anytime soon. He's a great mentor. I think I have a lot to learn from him. He can develop me as a player, big time. I look forward to that and I respect that. What have you been working on over the summer and the first couple of days of camp to get ready for the season? Uh, mostly my weight, getting up to 280, and I have achieved that. Uh, maintaining my speed there, getting stronger in the weight room than I did over summer. I got a lot stronger in uh, technique-wise, keeping my hands together and all that, that technique and just perfecting my craft. What does it take to gain weight? Because I know a lot of you guys have to up your weight. <laughs> but you don't want to lose, like, your speed yeah. or anything like that. How do you do that? Uh, we have a – I think we have one of the best nutrition staffs in the nation. Uh, they keep us going. Uh, I came in at probably a lanky 215, 220, and now they got me up to 280. Just about eating, working out, and sleeping. Those are probably the main three things that I, I do. That's a lot of weight to gain. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot, and uh, I'm still getting used to it, you know, getting my conditioning level to where it is, holding 280 and all that. Uh, I'm slowly and steady getting there. <laughs> what do you think Utah fans can expect from not only you but the defensive line oh, as a whole? Uh, I, I, I just, just playmakers uh, on this defense, uh, on the defensive line specifically, uh, Jason, Hunter, Lowell, uh, even the, the two deep, uh, Senny and Stevie. Oh, uh, we're going to be a nasty D-line. Hopefully we reciprocate what we had last year. I was telling someone else it seems like Utah just recruits Mack trucks and bulldozers <laughs> to play. Yeah. I, it feels that way. The, we reload on the line every year. That's what it feels like. Uh, even the new guys came in, and they, they, they're they doing the same thing, just downright nasty. That's how they are. You're, you're into the system. How how do you feel like things have changed for, for you from a leadership standpoint? From a leadership, I think uh, I've started to build more of a leadership role. Uh, a couple of guys have told me that I need to get into that role, even as a sophomore, that I need to grow up a little more and uh, just develop into that leadership role because a lot of the seniors will be gone. I will be a junior next year, and hopefully I can mold myself into that spot. September 3rd is coming real fast. Uh, yep. <laughs> what What can you fans expect when Michigan rolls into town? Just expect the show. I think it's going to be some hard-nosed football. Uh, especially from our defense and their offense and Harbaugh's offense is just power roll, power roll. Coach Pease is, is cemented it in our heads. That's all they're going to run. And it's just, it's going to be a physical game, really physical game. Thank you so much for your time, Felipe. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you.